Okay, everybody, here's a little trick that I want to show you. Most of the time when you're drawing, and if you've had any experience of drawing at all with graphite, uh, then you will know that sometimes in order to get a perfect shade for your pictures, if you're drawing a realistic photo, uh, it doesn't have to be a realistic photo. It could be drawing a landscape. It could be drawing the sky, trying to make the clouds and define the clouds. One quick way that you can get around this if you want to just lay down some pure graphite uh, besides just taking your pencil like this and just you know just laying down the graphite and smearing the graphite on and then just taking a blender and then blending it in um, you can either buy a canister of graphite that's already in, in grains uh, granules and then you can kind of just pour some on your paper then you can just kind of smooth it out but if you don't have that on hand and you're just using these graphite pencils like I have here and I always use the Derwent graphite pencils uh, I mean in my opinion these are the best pencils that you can get so I'm going to show you a little trick how you can actually take and get the graphite uh, grains off of the pencil tip here uh, what you want to do is just basically want to take a regular pencil sharpener this is just a regular pencil sharpener here and you want to take your graphite pencil and then you just want to take you may want to just kind of sharpen it a little bit uh, just to kind of get a good tip on it and then once you do that you just maybe take your little grains here and just kind of throw them off to the side but here's what I want to show you. Uh, the reason we want to throw those off to the side like that is because you're going to get some of the wood grains from the pencil inside uh, in a mixture of your graphite and you don't want that when you're blending the picture. But here's what I want to show you to get pure graphite. Just take your pencil, just take the, the head of it and just kind of put it inside the hole of your pencil sharpener and, and kind of do it at a little slant here. What you want to do is you really just want to touch the blade and you just want to twirl it around just like this. You see how that graphite is just kind of building up on the blade right there. Then take it and just lay down the graphite. This right here is actually a 7B pencil. As you can see it's pretty dark graphite. And you can lay down as much as you want. Uh, this way you're not actually getting any of the pencil shavings mixed in with the graphite. You're just getting the pure graphite. So you're just taking it and you're just slanting your pencil at an angle and then you're just getting your graphite like this. And then once you get it laid down, one of my favorite blenders if I'm actually drawing a, a realistic photo is to use a Kleenex. This is a Kleenex brand, just a Kleenex that I've got uh, kind of folded up in my finger here. And sometimes if your graphite is just too dry you can't just put your Kleenex down and just start swirling it around uh, because most of the time it's not really going to pick it up that great but one trick here is to just take and just dab the graphite I'm going to move this over a little bit so you can see but just kind of dab the graphite just a little bit and once you do that you see you got the graphite built up on the Kleenex and then let me get a clean area let me slide my paper over and get a clean area and then you can just kind of go in a circular motion and then you can just kind of lay down the graphite just like you need it it's always good to go in a circular motion if you're trying to do uh, realistic photos if you're trying to just blend in the texture for the skin And then you can see there you can just get a real good uh, real good graphite from that and it really works you know better than just taking a pencil and just trying to just you know do a little bit of simple shading I mean you can lay down the graphite this way if you want to lay down the graphite this way but then you don't really get a good You don't really get a good shade see see when you when you do it this way you know you can get some shading there but you see all the hardness of the pencil 
and even though I didn't really press down hard at all on that you can still see that there's a lot of hardness of the pencil but right here whenever I just take my pencil and I'm going to do another little demonstration for you this time I'm just going to use a HB but when you take the HB pencil and you hold it at an angle here you just want to twist it and twirl it in a circle and once you twirl it in a circle then you're just getting the graphite you're, you're kind of just cutting up the graphite a little bit and that's even pretty dark with just a HB pencil there that's just because it's pure ground graphite what I've got off the pencil lid there off the tip of the graphite pencil then you can just take and dab it and once you just dab it and by the way if you're drawing a realistic portrait you don't want to do the pour the graphite on your actual portrait because you're going to get a little mess see how the residue see how the residue right here is just built up you don't want that you just want to do it on a separate piece of paper but once you get it dabbed like that once you dab it like that then whatever uh, area of your drawing you want to shade then you just take it and you just go in a circular motion and because this here is an HB pencil it's actually a hard black pencil is what the HB stands for you can see you get a very light shade so right here you get a very light shade but you get a clean shade and this is the first one I did with a 7B pencil you get a darker shade so that's just a little trick right there that you can take and use so just put your pencil at an angle put it at an angle and you just want to twist it and then you start grinding up that graphite and you get all those graphite grounds on your sharpener then you just lay down the graphite on your paper separate piece of paper and then you can just take it and dab it a little bit once you get it up all on your Kleenex and then you can just start going and, and using a circular motion and then there you have it that's one good way to get pure graphite without leaving any hard pencil marks on your paper and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial uh, you can visit our website for more tutorials at visionsandgrade.com and we have a whole lot of uh, nice pencil drawing tutorials for you there to learn and this will save you a little bit of time may even save you a little bit of money just take your pencil that you already have and just use your pencil sharpener and you can just grind up the tip of the pencil and get the good you know straight graphite and grounds and it's going to give you a better shade when you do it that way as opposed to just trying to use your pencil you can use your pencil I use my pencil to shade a lot and then I use a blending stump or tortillion to ground with and sometimes it's Kleenex but you can actually just take and, and grind it up this way and it will really give you a cleaner shade thank you for watching and until next time visit visionsandgrade.com for more tutorials